I'm seeing an iceberg. I'm seeing an iceberg. An ice flow. Describe it for me. Tundra. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Look up. I'm near. I'm near water. Mm-hmm. But I'm standing on ice or snow, mm -hmm. several feet above the water. Look down at your feet. What do you see? Just your first impression. I'm seeing webbed feet. Webbed feet. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What do you look like? I think I'm a bird. Mm-hmm. What color are your feet? Kind of. Black. Mm -hmm. Claws. It? Three, three, three toes, three claws. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? <clears throat> I'm black and white. Mm -hmm. Not very big. I'm bigger than a bird. Mm -hmm. I guess I am pretty big. Mm -hmm. Do you feel male or female? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're doing there today on this ice? I don't see any. Oh, there they are. What do you see? I'm away from the rest of them, but they're not too far away. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of st standing here checking things out. Mm -hmm. What else do you see as you check things out? Look all around you. some are they rocks mm -hmm. no they're not rocks what are those they're animals animals what else it's like a walrus or mm -hmm. it's pretty far away but I know they're not rocks mm -hmm. there's nothing that color anywhere what else do you They're see? lower than I am. They're down by the water. Okay. They're pretty much, but it's still all ice. There's no ground. So how far away from you in the water are you? I'm on a hill. I'm above them. Mm -hmm. I'm, if I jump off the cliff, it's probably 20 feet, mm -hmm. 30 feet. So what's the reason why you're there today? What are you looking at? What comes to mind? Hmm. It's like we're resting. Mm-hmm. Are there many of There's you? Fish. We fish. came for the fish. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. There's several hundred. Mm -hmm. At least. We're hanging out with the walrus. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. Where do you go after this? <coughs> What 
do you see yourself doing now? Just kind of walking around. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm meandering down my way to the rest of them. Yeah, they're getting ready to leave. Mm -hmm. Going somewhere. The walruses? No, the birds. Or the birds. birds. All right, so let's find out where it is that you're all going. Connect with the birds. Oh. What happens next? They're not really, they're not flying away. Mm hmm what are they doing? Just going swimming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're out on the water. Mm -hmm. I'm not on the water. There is, I'm not on the water yet. Are they inside in the water? Are they floating on the water? They're floating on the water. Mm -hmm. Some are flo It's like they're f eating again. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Let's see where you go. I'd like for you now to close that scene and let's see where you go next after this scene. Be there now. I'm still there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's important about this place. What happens? Describe the scene. Put in all the details. I'm moving down the slope mm -hmm. towards the water. For some reason, I'm not wanting to go in. Mm -hmm. There's some. Th I've, I'm sensing there's some threat to the others that are in the water. Mm -hmm. And there's yeah, there's there's yeah, something just came out of the water mm -hmm. and ate some some. What is it that came out of the water? Well, a big fish. Some mm -hmm. are big. It's like a whale. Mm -hmm. But I think the whale are feeding on the fish too, and they just happen to mm -hmm. get the ones that didn't fly away when the water broke. Mm -hmm. But no, but they're not. There's no fear from the others. Mm -hmm. What do you feel as you're watching this? Do you have any emotion? No. Mm -hmm. It's just, just a knowing to stay safe. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Let's advance this scene and see what's the next important thing that happens. Where are you? We're not there anymore. Mm -hmm. Where are you now? We're on land. Mm -hmm. And there's, it's like nesting, nesting. There's nests. Mm -hmm. We're, there's nests with eggs. Mm -hmm. Are any of these nests yours? Do you have a mate? I'm sensing yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. Yes, I have a mate. Mm -hmm. What is your responsibility with these eggs? 
I want to guard them. Mm -hmm. I bring I bring food to the mother. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's, they're hatching. Mm -hmm. How many eggs are hatching? Three. What do you feel as these eggs are hatching? Hmm. Just protective? Mm hmm. I don't feel. emotion towards mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Just responsible. Yes. So what do you do now that they've hatched? Mm. I just Mostly watching the mother. Mm hmm Anything else important from this scene? What else is important here? Mm -hmm. you sense there's there's bad weather coming mm -hmm. we're just hunkering down do you sense everybody's just hunkered down mm -hmm. it's just the wind's blowing snow's blowing where are you physically look around you I'm on a beach, mm -hmm. some rocky, rocky beach. Mm -hmm. There's not really sand. It's okay. cold. Are you with the others? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens next? They're getting, we're getting buried in snow. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, every once in a while you have to flutter your feathers to get the snow off so you don't get buried. Mm -hmm. What else has happened? Just waiting. Mm -hmm. So you can advance that scene and let's see what happens next. What's the next important scene in that lifetime? Look around you. Where are you? I'm not a bird anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm in that life. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Describe this place for me. Use all of your senses. What do you imagine is there? Keep getting a... <laughs> Keep seeing... Do you see? I see the wicked witch's feet. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that means. <laughs> Where are her feet? <clears throat> I'm 
Where is she? That's all. It's just, it's like the scene from Wizard of Oz and the mm -hmm. house landed on the witch and mm -hmm. the feet are curling up. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why it is that you've seen this scene. So I'd like to ask the higher self, why are you showing Eric that scene from the Wicked Witch? What house has fallen? It's fear. Mm hmm Where is this fear coming from? Fear of losing his house. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What does that mean? Is he afraid of not being in Kansas anymore? No. He's... too attached. Mm -hmm. Fear of losing the house. Mm -hmm. Fear of the elements. Mm -hmm. So you showed him his life as a bird. What was the significance of that lifetime? How did that, what does that have to do with Eric's life now? He feels like he's watching life. Mm -hmm. Isn't he? Participating minimally. Mm -hmm. He's lived a life like this before? Yes. Why did he choose Many. to live this life again like this? He had lives of Solitude. Mm-hmm. What kind of lives of solitude? He's a monk. Mm-hmm. He's lived He's lived alone in forest it's a choice it's a choice why didn't you show him those lives instead of the one of the bird why the bird the bird is Watching and but still participating, not feeling connected or moved by what's going on. Mm -hmm. But in this life, he is observing, but he does get it attached to these emotions. There is fear, there is anger. Yes. What's causing all of that? Is that from this lifetime or a different lifetime? Would you allow him to see where the origin is of this? Show him a picture of where the anger came from.
Keep following it until you see it. There's a life Uh, there's a, he's been in lives where he hurt people mm -hmm. and he has chosen lives to avoid hurting people but what has he brought with him into this life it seems so explosive Let's follow that life, please. Did it have anything to do with that dream of war? Yes, he was angry. Mm -hmm. Angry because of the war. Mm -hmm. Which war was this, please? World War II. Mm -hmm. Where was he? France. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what he was in that war. Was he living there or was he a soldier? He was living there. All right. So I'd like for you now to acclimate yourself into that body. Feeling yourself in that body, in that time. And tell me what you look like. Are you male or female? I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? brown hair probably 14 15 mm -hmm. where do you live I don't have a home anymore what happened to your <clears throat> it's, home? It's destroyed. Mm -hmm. So what do you um, do? I've just been hiding. You've been hiding. What do they call you? What's your name? Mo? Moton? Mo? Mo? Moton? 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 Mm-hmm. Moton? Is it like Martin? No. Moton. Moton. So, what is it that you do during the day? How do you keep yourself safe? Stay hidden. Mm hmm. Look for food. So, where is it that you're hiding today? I'm in a building today. Mm hmm. What's it's in this? bombed. Mm -hmm. Look all around you. What do you see? It's just devastation. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or are there others with you? I felt like there were others But there's not now. Mm -hmm. What happened to your family? The father went to war. Mother's around, but I don't know where she's 
gone. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's died. Do you have anybody else in your family? I'm not sensing that. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens. I'd like for you now to advance a scene to the next important scene of that lifetime. The one that is impacting you now. Be there now. Where are you? I'm in an airport. Mm -hmm. I'm a lot older. Mm -hmm. I'm getting on a boarding a plane. It looks like I'm in the military. Mm -hmm. But there's no war. Mm -hmm. Where is it that you're heading? United States. Mm -hmm. I'm with a group. Is this group soldiers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not a military plane, though. Mm -hmm. so we're going to. New York. Mm -hmm. So advance the scene and allow yourself to get to New York and let's find out what you're doing there. What happens? It's it's an R and R thing. Mm -hmm. Just nothing major. Just sightseeing and partying. Mm -hmm. What do they call you now? Not home. Mm -hmm. So now let's close that scene and let's go to the next significant scene in that lifetime that impacted your life. Where are you? I have a wife and kids. Mm -hmm. And they're young. We're back in France. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the military. What is it that you do for a living? I'm a bookkeeper or an accountant. Mm -hmm. Do you like your profession? It's okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. Anything interesting about this scene with your wife and kids? Um, no. Mm -hmm. So now let's move from that scene, closing that scene down to the next significant event in that lifetime. What do you see and experience? I'm old. Mm -hmm. Where are you? But uh, my wife is dead. Mm -hmm. um, 
I'm sitting on the sitting in a chair watching on the street, just watching people walk by, thinking about my life. What are the kinds of things that you are reflecting about? How I made it through. Uh -huh. How did I survive? It was an easy life after, fairly easy life after the war. Uh -huh. It's. I'm not seeing my children. They don't live near me. Uh -huh. Are you close to your children, or are you detached from them? More detached. Mm -hmm. I live alone. How old are you? I'm old. Mm -hmm. 80, mm -hmm. 90. I'd like for you now to close that scene and go to the last moment of your life in that lifetime. Allow yourself to take the last. I'm part. in a hospital. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? I'm just dying because I'm old. Mm-hmm. So allow yourself. They're to not really. They just. They know it. It's like this. Nothing they can do. How do you feel about it? That's okay. okay. I'm ready. Take your last breath, please. Allow yourself to detach from that body. Let's see what happens with your spirit as you leave. Where do you go? Hmm. What happens next? I'm kind of just wandering around. Mm -hmm. I know I have to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go to the light? Yeah, but I did it in my own time. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't just die and go. I you meandered a while. I'm, yeah, I. Tell me more. I wanted to go find my children. Mm -hmm. They weren't with me. Did you find them? No, I just decided to go. I went to the light. So I'd like for you now, as you're in that light, I'd like for you to connect with your guides for those that help you on your return. Tell me if there's anybody there to welcome you back. Mm, yeah. What do you see? They call themselves the wise guys. Mm -hmm. How many are there? <laughs> uh, five. Mm -hmm. What do they look like, these wise guys? Mm, they're wearing... <clears throat> I can't see their faces, but they, they're really tall. Mm -hmm. They're wearing some sort of robes, but they're not... They don't look like clothes. Mm -hmm. It looks like light. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to connect with the mind to mind and let's find out what they say to you. Uh, he says, well, you did it. Mm -hmm. What does that mean?
uh, it's, I just asked him, what does it mean? And he, he just says, you did it. You did what you set out to do. Mm -hmm. Why was that life so difficult at the beginning, so challenging, losing family? It was learn to learn to lose mm -hmm. and still live, accept the loss, and go on. Mm -hmm. So now let's find out what the next mission is. What is the purpose of Eric, Eric's life? I'd like for you to see yourself with the wise guys, planning out the life of Eric. Tell me where you are and what you see. We're all just, they're actually kind of leaving me out of it at this point. Mm. They're talking, or What are they talking about? They ask me, if I want a similar life. And I said, no. I told them I want excitement. <laughs> <laughs> it was boring. What kind of excitement are you looking for in the next life of Eric? Mm. He wanted a life that he can make an impact on. Mm. What's being discussed? It's a w They're trying to decide what venue mm -hmm. <laughs> to put him in. And why is it that they have control of the venue that this soul goes into? He gave up control. He did. Has the soul ever had control? Yes. Why did he give up the control? Why did he not want to choose his own destiny? His own lessons? He chose... He just... He chose the... Excitement part of it. Mm hmm But he wants to make an impact... Not on a global scale, but to and he wants to make people feel alive by doing exciting things. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how this soul chose the family that he came into. Was that selected for him, or did he choose? He chose. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what are these characters in his life, what did they represent, and why did he choose? He chose the current life. Mm -hmm. 
it's not the life that was exciting. Mm -hmm. It's it's this this life was another life that was similar to the others. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, He's wanted to experience all the different ways of being around people, but being an island mm -hmm. of observing and watching. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the bird's life. Just the watching mm -hmm. and... He had to have a life of being able to be creative as he was when he was a child. Mm -hmm. And he's wanting to see that again. He's mm -hmm. wanting to feel that again. So what happened? Why did that creativity no longer is able to come out? What's happened? What caused that to stop? Um, he just wasn't able to allow, he wasn't allowed the tools that he needed mm -hmm. to express himself the way he wanted to express himself. Mm -hmm. So he basically withdrew. Mm -hmm. And what is that doing to him? Now? And he was also in a life of, or in a period of seclusion. Mm -hmm. So and how that was, served him well. It did. How being did able to be alone and be creative mm -hmm. with not much to play with. And what about now? Where is that creativity now? Is he using it? Not the way he wants to. Mm -hmm. So what would make it even better? He says that he's being blocked. What's causing that creative block? Let's follow it and see if that block is anywhere in his body. Looks through his he body. He needs to eliminate. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and touch your shoulder. And when I do, you'll open your eyes and I'll take off the microphones. And when you come back, you'll be able to go even deeper. So we're discussing this life, the creative block. Let's scan and see what's creating this block. The body. Mm-hmm. Where in the body is this block? Mm -hmm. Scan it from head to toe. Let's find out what that block is. Seeing a s s neck. Mm-hmm. The neck. There's something around the throat. Mm -hmm. What does this thing around his throat look like? Is it an energy? Mm -hmm. What color is it? How does it represent itself? It looks like a clamp. A clamp, very good. <laughs> So let's it's find a, out. It's a clamp on his throat, mm -hmm. around his neck. Let's find out where that clamp came from. I'd like for you now 
to focus and see when it was that that clamp got put on that throat. As you breathe in, go back in time and let's follow the origin of that clamp. Going through time and space, finding the origin. It could be in this lifetime or another lifetime. What's causing that clamp? He's voiced himself in other lives that weren't, that he was killed for, mm -hmm. punished for, speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. And let's find out what was done to him in those lifetimes. Let's find the one that impacted him the most. Where he voiced his voice. Show him a picture of him in that lifetime. Where are you? I'm being hunted. Like You're a dog. Mm -hmm. Not like with dogs. What's happening? I'm running for my life. I'm mm -hmm. hiding. Are you male or female? I'm male. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Thirties. Mm -hmm. What's happened? What has caused you to run? Hmm. I spoke out against the church. Mm -hmm. They call me a heretic. What did you say about the church? Preaching to people that the church is not what it says it is. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I was trying to get people to use their own power. Mm -hmm. Um, considered a witch-ish witch, mm -hmm. but they don't use that word. Mm -hmm. They're saying heretic. Do you have any powers? Yes, I can heal. Mm -hmm. I use herbs and energy. And they've, yeah, they've tried to shut us down. I'm not with anybody, no. So what's happening at this time? Where are you? I'm... I was impaled. Mm hmm. Where? There's a I'm on a like I've been skewered. There's a tree or there's a big pole going through my chest. Mm -hmm. I'm face up facing the sky and I'm dying. You could see as an observer, you don't have to be in the body. I'd like for you to see who it was that impaled you. 
Who was this person? Mm, this is one of the soldiers. Mm -hmm. It's. Do you recognize his soul? No. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive this man for not knowing any better? Yes. All right. I'd like for you to leave that body. I'd like for you to disconnect from that body, understanding that this was another lifetime. We tried to change the world using your power. And there's no one after you now. There's no one there to hunt you down or to impale you. I want you to release it. Allow that to let go. And I'd like for you to do a scan of your throat and see what your throat looks like now. I'm still seeing it. Mm -hmm. So let's find mm. out where that clamp came from. Why well, you brought that clamp with you, what is a lifetime? is associated with that clamp. That's this lifetime, many lifetimes mm -hmm. of, of the same Of the same thing. thing. So now that Eric is in this lifetime, what is the reason that he chose to put on a clamp on his throat? because nobody else put it there. Well, he doesn't want to be hunted down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you understand now that that was a different lifetime, different times? Yes. Mm -hmm. And he tells me that he is a healer now. He's able to work with energy now, same as he was in that lifetime. What is the fear now? He can release this fear now. Mm-hmm. Can you help him release it's this fear? It's just baggage. Mm-hmm. So can we begin now to take away that clamp from his throat, from his neck? It is done. Very good. Allow that flow to go through his body now. Releasing and letting go of all of those lifetimes that he's been carrying. All of that fear of using his energy and being found out and being hurt by it. And let's look and see if his body has any other blockages. Hips. The hips. What's going on in the hips? Is that an attachment or some, that something he put there? It's an attachment. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to address this attachment? Yes. All right. So I'm going to put my hand over the hip area and bring that energy up and up. And up, and you can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? What do they call you? Mm -hmm. What may I call you today? Sam. Sam. How old are you? Forty. Forty. And what year is it for you, Sam? It's eighteen 
40 something. Mm -hmm. Now, Sam, what happened to your body? How did you lose that body? How did you die? I was crushed. Mm -hmm. How were you crushed? Um, lumber fell on me. Lumber. And what happened after I you... I was building a barn. Uh-huh. Accident. So, Sam, after you left that body, where did you go? I went home. Mm-hmm. And how did you find Eric? Do you know Eric? Yes. How did you know him? I was his brother in a one time. Mm-hmm. So why is it that you are now attached to your brother? Why are you not home in the light? He spends too much time alone. Mm. So you wanted to keep him he company? He let a lot of... A lot of energy in. Because he wanted to feel. Mm -hmm. Pain. Oh, he wanted to feel he pain. He wanted to feel pain. Mm -hmm. Why did he want to feel this pain? To learn. To learn. So how old was he when you attached he him? He wanted to feel pain to learn to... know that he could get past it. Mm -hmm. Now, do you, did you make this contract with him before he was born? Or did you find him once he was here? It was a contract. Mm -hmm. So did you attach to him? Did you attach to his soul coming in? Yes. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing to him all this time? I don't really bother him anymore. Mm -hmm. How did you bother him before? It made his hips hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. He started He healed himself. Mm -hmm. And Sam, now what do you do for him? I just occasionally poke him and mm -hmm. let him know I'm here. Mm -hmm. To remind him that he got past all this. Mm -hmm. That all that horrible hip pain I was causing him is gone, but every once in a while, I'm still here. All right. So let's take a deep breath in and let me now speak with Eric. Eric, it seems that Sam has been attached to you your whole life, allowing you to feel pain. Do you need to be reminded anymore? Or do you feel now that it's a good time to break that contract and allow Sam to go back home? I'm ready to let him go. All right. Do you forgive Sam for poking you with these reminders? No, I thank him for You thank it. him. Very good. That's even better. So let's take a deep breath in. Sam, I want you to go ahead and begin detaching yourself from his hips. Allowing yourself to lift and release. And I want you to go ahead right through the crown of his head right here. And Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. He's going to help escort you back home. Tell me when you see him. He's there. What does he look like? A 
That's his guide. Mm-hmm. He looks like Neptune. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Sam, go uh, ahead, uh, and he will lead you right back home. And tell me when you get there. Yeah. Is anybody there to welcome you? Yeah. Sam, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you for your service. Let's take a deep breath in and let's mm. scan the body some more. Let's find out if there's anything else that's not allowing that flow of creativity, flow of life to go through the body. The hands, mm -hmm. hands. What's going on with his hands? They seem to be molting. What's going on with those? Why are his hands peeling? What's there? It's a skin issue that he's manifested. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? He needs to be using his hands in other ways. Mm -hmm. He feels this and he knows it. So what is the representation of the peeling? Sloughing off of skin is to just renew. It's a renewal. Mm -hmm. What is he renewing? And since there's it's physical too. There's there's physical he's cleansing his body mm -hmm. and it's toxins. So the toxins are coming are out coming out with the skin? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how long will this take for him to eliminate? all of these toxins. It depends. Mm -hmm. Can we accelerate this a little bit more? Yes. Mm -hmm. What would you like to use to begin accelerating the rate of his health restoration? green light very good so allow that green light to begin going through his body transforming the cells giving them life and tell me when you've completed the process It will accelerate. It won't be comfortable. What's he going to feel? He's been feeling this mm -hmm. itchy, itchy skin. Yes. He he has. Yeah, he's wanted this. He's asked for it. He's asked for It'll, it. It's, yes. Is this coming from these self-healing meditations that he's doing? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about this regimen that he has? The supplements, the baking soda with the molasses, alkalining his body? Yes. Is this working? Yes. Mm -hmm. Should he keep this up? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, I know he's working on his body. What about his memory? He says he can't remember much. What's, go what's going on there?
he's downloading. Mm -hmm. And he's been doing this his whole life. When he's downloading, he's not remembering things because they're trivial. Mm -hmm. And the downloads are kind of erasing that ah. memory. So they're taking... They're not erasing it. It's just not bringing... It's taking it away from the conscious mind. Mm -hmm. They're there. They can never go away. Mm -hmm. But if he's being downloaded with information, is that coming up with anything? Is he bringing up more knowledge to the surface? With these, with, these, with these downloads? Mm, not to the surface so no. much as into the body. Mm -hmm. The body is being conditioned to stay alive. Mm -hmm. For what's coming. Can you tell me about what's coming? Why does the body need to be conditioned for this? The vibration needs to be higher. Mm -hmm. He's made a lot of changes for the good. Mm -hmm. Stop some bad habits. Changed his diet. It's to receive this new energy. Mm -hmm. Can you describe this energy for me? He was talking about the Schumann resonance. Resonance? Does it have anything to do with this? Is this the energy we're talking about? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the match it's 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 what every everybody's going through he mm -hmm. just feels it mm -hmm. differently is more aware what than kind some of, what kind of things do we feel in our body with this sh shifting of energy all kinds of sensations mm -hmm. tingling numbness Some people are sleepy. Mm -hmm. Some people get a lot of energy. Eric gets a lot of energy from this. Mm -hmm. These downloads give him energy, physical energy. Is this permanent? Is this going to be like this from now on? It'll slow down, but a lot of people have to play catch up. Uh -huh. What is this energy doing to our bodies? Is it actually the changing our bodies? The Schumann resident resonance is acclimating bodies mm -hmm. because the Earth's vibration is changing. The Schumann resonance is raising. This resonance is raising the vibration of people. Mm. Is it affecting animals also? Yes, it's affecting animals more so than people. Mm -hmm. Because he tells me that one of his dogs is always running around. Does this dog feel any of this energy? Or is it something else with his dog? It's not, con it's not related to the... Okay, all right. She's an aspect of his personality. She is. As his other dogs are. Mm-hmm. They're all very different, but they're all resonant. <laughs> they're all parts of his own personality. Mm -hmm. They all have traits that are... Well, he I'm knows this. I'm He's sure Eric doesn't chase this. after squirrels, though. 
What is it that she's mirroring back to him? Inability to focus. Ah. Excessive energy. So how can he help Mabel? Does a shift in himself, will that help her? As he focuses better? He can do more healing with her. He's holding her and, mm -hmm. and giving and running energy with her. And it, it is helping. He's not really seeing it. Mm -hmm. She's going to lose some of this as she gets older. Okay. What can we do now to help Mabel? Can we connect with Mabel and perhaps calm her? At this time, no. No. Okay. He, she's teaching him patience. Ah. He needs to work on patience. Okay. He tells she's teaching him love. Okay. Who's working on helping him with his personality, his temper? We're all working on that. Mm -hmm. What's causing him to explode? Where is this coming from? Is this this lifetime or a different lifetime? Or perhaps something attached to it? It's both. It's it's both. It's a combination. Mm -hmm. So can we pinpoint where the majority of it is, is coming from so that we can work on it today? Let's follow this anger. Let's follow this temper. And let's see where the origin is. Where is this anger? Let's keep following it. What do you see? Allow the images to come. He's had lives of... where he's left abruptly. Mm-hmm. Not by his choice, so much as ours. We felt he got enough information out of that lifetime. Those lifetimes. He wasn't growing anymore. Mm -hmm. so and he was loving his life. So who is he? But angry? it wasn't what he came to learn. And he's angry about that. Mm -hmm. So he, who is he actually angry at? He says he's angry at us. Mm -hmm. But we are him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's <laughs> he's angry at himself. Mm -hmm. So does he need to have temper tantrums anymore? No. What's the best way for him to 
allowed this energy to flow without breaking things, without going into a tirade. He's done very well lately, mm -hmm. but occasionally it bothers him more now that it pops up. Mm -hmm. And he thought he had it all under, all figured out. We've been helping him a lot. So do we need to, need to do some forgiveness work here? He needs self-forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And he needs to forgive his father. All right. His so father was instrumental in this this current lifetime and a couple of other lifetimes. Mm -hmm. All right. So they've let's not they've not learned to keep doing the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. Would you allow us to connect with Dad now? We can't. Where is he? Did Bob go to the light? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's... He's here. We can't communicate with him, though. Mm -hmm. Can we allow both of them to extend to each other that love after forgiveness? Can we do that? Would he receive any love that we send him? Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do, Eric, is I'm going to put my hand over your chest and I'm going to use actually a rose quartz crystal because we need to make this even more powerful. And I want you to go ahead through your body and begin to pull out all of this anger, all of this resentment, all of this pain, not being good enough, not being the one to make your father happy not being one to fit in. Allow all of that to be pulled out of your body. Every cell, pull it all out. Knowing that you are a child of God, you came here and you've been holding this pain all this time. And tell me when we have it all out. So now that we send it all out to the universe, we need to fill that space with something else. What we'd like to fill that with? Forgiveness. All right. Let's put lots of forgiveness in there. Feel it flowing in through your heart, pumping into every cell of your body, filling it, allowing yourself to forgive all of that that you were holding all of that pain. Fill it all up. And I'm going to tap your forehead and let's seal that in. And now what we'd like to fill it in? Some more. Let's put something else in there. What would you like to fill that space with now? Love. All right, so let's put a fire hose of love in there and let's pump that love now and feel it flowing. Imagine this as a white golden light filling every space of your body, mind and soul, as it goes through your entire body, sealing all of that area that was before broken. Let's tap that in. And now that we have all of that love in your heart, we can now direct that love to your father understanding that it was your responsibility to love yourself first 
and that you allowed someone to define who you were by what he wanted you to be. And this man needed love, love that he never received himself. So I'd like for you now to let's use that power of healing that you have to send that healing to your father and allow that healing to go through every lifetime that you've lived together. Expand it out even more and more into time and space, healing all of those lifetimes that you lived, misunderstanding each other, and cutting all of those cords of that negativity to all of those lives. And tell me when it is done. It's done. Very good. So now I'd like to ask the higher self, why is it so easy for Eric to walk away from relationships, from people, when they hurt him? It's easy to walk away because he never invests anything. Mm -hmm. So now that he has this love in his heart, how will it change the relationships going forward? He'll be more open and receptive to relationships, mm -hmm. friends, People are attracted to him from just because of his energy, mm -hmm. but he keeps them at arm's length. Length. Mm -hmm. So, can we allow now more of a flow so that he can receive some of that love, so that it doesn't flow in one direction? Yes. Very good. So I'd like to ask for a guide on his behalf to help him with these relationships, to remind him of all of these abilities that he has, that simply by him being near these people, they could feel his energy. What about his relationship with money? He has a... He has a imprinted a a sense of lack, and you're only going to grow if you struggle. Mm-hmm. Is that the truth? No. Where did he get he this knows. from? He's had lifetimes of extreme wealth. He wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. He didn't grow. He was bored. So what's the game he's playing with money now? Uh, he has a sense of having to work really, really, really hard, mm -hmm. physical work, his not healing is tied into that mm -hmm. lack. But we see that that healing was a block that he had. That can all be removed today. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you continue removing all of that so that he can now feel free to fix his house? Yes, he can sell some stock. Good. Thank He's you. He's okay financially. Good. Now he asks about 
a healing center, why can't he focus on that? Is there one in the future for him? Yes, it'll be necessary. Mm -hmm. Where will this healing center be? Where he is now. Okay. Is this something that he's going to be getting some assistance with? We can assist him with that. He needs... Mm -hmm. He's been asking for our help. Okay. We've been setting things up. It will happen. Okay. And besides this healing center, he seems to be very attached to his house. What is it about that house that he's so attached to? Is there something? There's, there's, it's the only, there's a lot of energy there, mm -hmm. family energy. Mm -hmm. He's comfortable there because it's, he feels like he's with family. Mm -hmm. Now, with these family members, have they gone to the light? Or are they still there? Let's see if there's any that are stuck there. Paul. Mm-hmm. WM. Why is he there? It's his house. Mm-hmm. He didn't... He didn't... He didn't go to the light. How can we assist him today? Yes, we can send him. We can send him home. Okay. So can we now connect with him and allow him to fill his heart with light? And allow Archangel Michael to escort him back home. Yes. Very good. And tell me when he finally gets there, please. He's home. Mm. What does he have to say? He's laughing. Mm -hmm. Lucy's saying she... Lucy says she waited to get to see him, and when she got there, he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. They're laughing about it. Mm -hmm. Very good. He was just guarding. He was just hanging out. Mm -hmm. well, I'd like to ask for the light of the universe to accompany them all now in love and light. And let's now do a clean sweep of that house and let's fill it with beautiful energy from source, clearing it out, filling it with light so that when Eric goes home, he'll feel motivated now to use his skills. He'll allow his dogs to feel peace in this house. Allow Mabel to feel more serene now that she doesn't have to guard against Papa, perhaps making mm -hmm. her run around. Mm -hmm. Let's fill that light with light so that all of them within that house now feel peace and love and motivation to do what they came here to do. It's clean. Very good. 
So Eric has a question about perhaps alien implants, false memories. What happened to him? Why did he get paralysis, sleep paralysis? Why did he seem to find grays? Does he have anything like that? They do. His Is he connected to any of that? It is an implant. Mm -hmm. What's that implant? It was a real memory. Mm -hmm. It was a time when he was... He left his body. Mm -hmm. He was in distress and left his body after an altercation with his father. Mm -hmm. Where did he go? And it was to track him. Mm hmm. Does he need that implant anymore? No. No. Can we begin releasing, dissolving that implant now? It'll take time. Very good. How can he be changed? What can he expect once this implant is completely removed? Will he feel any changes? His mind will be clearer. Mm -hmm. It'll stop some body pain. Good. Can he use any crystals on this implant? to accelerate the healing. He's using, he's been using crystals. Wonderful. He has quartz. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to ask now is for the very, very strong light of source to go directly through his third eye and back into that implant. And let's begin the process now of dissolving that implant. Let's not wait. Let's begin the acceleration now. Use that powerful white light now to go right through your third eye and down into that implant. Tell me what Eric is feeling. He's okay. Okay, very good. It's it's working. Mm-hmm. Is he feeling any pressure or anything? Uh, his energy's really going off the charts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's no pain. Mm-hmm. Just energy. Yeah. Good. Well, as he continues to work with that, he wants to know a little bit about the planets that have entered our solar system. He wants to know if that's the main cause of the environmental changes that we're seeing. Yes. Mm -hmm. What can we expect in the future? Raise your vibration. Raise your vibration. There won't be a lot of comfort. There'll be 
hard times. What do you see? There's floods, earthquakes, storms, but the main thing is fear. Mm -hmm. The fear is going to kill a lot of people. So how can we override that fear? How can we maintain that's, our vibration, huh? That's not up to anybody but the individual. Mm. So how can we prepare ourselves for something that we cannot control? Prepare yourself spiritually. Physically, you can raise your vibration. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself if where you are is a safe place. Listen to yourself. Listen to your higher self. Everything will be okay. Everyone will end up where they're supposed to be. There shouldn't be any fear. But there will be. Those living in the dark will stay in the dark. Will they talk about the new earth? It is the new earth. Will this new earth have these disasters? This earth will. Mm -hmm. So those that stay on this earth will feel a disaster? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about the, those that have shifted to the new earth? It'll be an experience, mm -hmm. but they won't see it as cataclysmic or mm -hmm. disaster, but they will, they will experience change. Mm -hmm. So will it be more of a less judgment about it, perhaps? More of a detached experience? For most. Mm. They'll either leave before. It's already started. Mm -hmm. They'll leave before. Okay. If they want to leave their body. Many are leaving now. Mm -hmm. So what advice would you like to give Eric about this? Is the place where he lives a good place to be? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. They need him there. He is ch changing people. He's transitioning people now. So what do you see him doing now after this session? Now that he's connected with you, the higher self? 
he'll be able to communicate in ways that are people are more receptive to. Mm -hmm. He gets a little excited mm -hmm. and can't speak what's in his heart and what he knows to be coming. Well, he doesn't have that clamp anymore. The bear trap has been removed. Mm, very good. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell Eric? Just continue to work on his patience. It'll be easier now. Continue to do the meditations. Everything is working. Just have patience. You feel it. You want to share it with a people and you, but he's afraid to. Mm -hmm. He listens to us when we yell. Mm -hmm. Just listen and quit doubting. Trust. Good. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. Alert and feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Let's switch those. I didn't ugly cry, did I? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so, but you did really good. Here's your, here's right. the other one, the shungites. Ground you. How are you feeling? Good? Good. How long do you think you were on this journey? What did it feel like? A couple of months. A couple of months you've been gone? <laughs> that seemed like maybe an hour. Yeah, it's about an hour and 49 minutes right now. Wow. Mm. Interesting, huh? <laughs> You got all your answers. Did I? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, you released quite a bit too. You've had quite a interesting past lives. Really? Well, <laughs> you were impaled for speaking your truth, for trying to do what you're doing now in this lifetime, <laughs> using your healing power. That explains the back pain. Yeah. How does it feel now? How's your body feel? Pretty good. Yeah. We went through a lot of different things. Do you remember? I think so. I remember being a bird. Mm hmm. And you're doing <laughs> that, that still. Was about. You're, you're still watching people. You're yeah. Still watching. That's. You know, it's it's really what you're doing now. You're just, just you know, observing everything. Observing, all detached the time. from, detached from everybody. Just doing what you need to yeah. do. Yeah. And the more you'll listen to this, the and more it'll make sense. That's just. Yeah, what? I remember the bird. Mm -hmm. I remember the war thing. The war thing. You survived that. Yeah. And that was kind of a boring life. You realize, eh, yeah. you know, eh, they were all boring. <laughs> what kind of boring? <laughs> Interesting, huh? Good stuff. Yeah. You want to keep this personal? It's up to you. My life's an open book. You want to share it? If it's, yeah. Okay. It's pretty boring. I don't know if anybody get anything out of it, but okay. <laughs> it's up to you. You want to share it? Sure. Okay. Oh, hey, thank you. So, Eric, how was this for you? It was awesome. I, <laughs> it does kind of just flow, but I didn't yeah. really feel like I was flowing a lot. It's, you see more than I didn't. Your I, eyes were. Yeah, that's. I've been told that when yeah. I meditate a lot yeah. of times, I'm my eyes. Yeah, you're in that flutter, state. Flutter, and I that must do it when I sleep too, because I wake up and I'm. 
Uh -huh. Seeing flashes of light. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I was so when you got it. here, you thought you weren't going to be able to be medit be uh, hypnotized. What do you think now? I'm hypnotized all the time. <laughs> <laughs> My so, life, I live my life in hypnosis. So, what did you think about this? What did you get out of it? How are you feeling? I feel like I knew all along. Yeah, well, that's your higher self. They've These been are yelling things that you. I've been pondering for, mm -hmm. for a while. Yes. Um, the reoccurring dream of war. Yes. That's, I didn't know where that was going. Yeah. That was ex interesting. It was interesting. Um, Wow, the bird thing. Interesting, just, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I know people have been other had. Other, you looked down and you saw your feet. Like, oh, okay. Now, one interesting thing is that we were talking about is your feelings in your body. Yeah, I'm very. A long time ago, when I started meditating, mm -hmm. when I started doing healing work. I wanted to feel it. I mm -hmm. I put it out there. I said, mm -hmm. I I'm not going to believe it unless I can feel it. Yes. And so I've always I've always felt the energies. Yes. And I've always, you know, been affected by them mm -hmm. and not being able to actually identify them. But when I bring in certain light, I can feel it. Yeah. Uh, I've had even watching your videos, um, I kind of go into a trance mm -hmm. and I have had some major healings so you through connect. that. Yeah, you know, the, yeah. the body f shaking and mm -hmm. the twitching, I've, that's pretty common to so me. What was the I thought I'd do more of that today. I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. Well, I mean, what were you feeling as we were going through I this? felt pretty pretty calm. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't... Well, I think most of it was to get you I calm. I can always tell when I'm, you know, what I'm, what my body's doing. Yeah. And I'm always, you know, in the background going, oh, well, that's cool. That's weird. That's <laughs> trippy. What, what's that? Oh, that's neat. It's and working. We, and we talked also about the energies that we're feeling now at this time of the earth. What are you feeling? I th I'm right now. Yeah. Um, I've been in a state of anticipation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's, I think it's effect has affected in the past my day to day life. Mm. Some, in some ways. Are you feeling um, any waves of energy? Right now? Not now, but I mean, have you been feeling? Uh, oh yeah, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell the earth is the the yeah. vibration is speeding up, yes. and and I recommend that everybody speed their vibration up too. Yeah, start to meditate yeah. and start to connect with yourself. I mean, I feel my body is constantly in a flux yeah. right now, especially doing these sessions. It's such high energy that's going through me. I mean, I mean these sessions are are channeled. They're 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 coming through me, and I feel the energy. Mm -hmm. You know, I, yeah. even now I could just still feel the vibration. Yeah. I, I asked for the the crown chakra to open, and yes. I could feel I could feel it open. It's yeah. like it's like somebody's blowing on your head. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and you could I could feel it come uh, all the way through, and yes. Yeah, so now we've gotten a go on your healing center, and tell everybody where you're from. A little tiny town in Kansas. E B. And. We are now in St. Louis, Missouri. So how long did it take yeah. you to get here? Well, it's an eight hour drive. Yeah, was it worth it? It's easy. You just, <laughs> you're in hypnosis when you're driving. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's called highway hypnosis. It's awesome. It's, it's, Do you recommend this? Was it oh, good? Oh yeah, yeah, I recommend it. Yeah. Totally recommend it. So it'd be interesting I'm, to see what happens later. Yeah, I, I'm anticipating uh, downloads to increase yes and now we your, understand why your memory is kind of going yeah because you're getting these downloads and it seems like that's more important than these memories of yeah. trivial stuff and the, the being out of my body a lot mm. I, I got that in there it's just like he's not in his body he's just not in his body he's just floating around I don't know if that was verbalized though, but it kept coming. I kept hearing it. I don't know. He's not in like, his body. He's not in his body. He's not in his body. Who was telling you that? Because that they wasn't. Were, they wasn't coming out the of your mouth. The wise guys. The wise guys. Is that what they it? told me that in a meditation? And I was like, started laughing, 
because I said I need to know you know I've been trying to yeah you know put a face or a name yeah. to the higher self and they said just call us the wise guys and so they were telling you during, <laughs> during the session yeah, I kept he's, hearing, not, he's not in this he's body he's not in his body he's he's not been in his body he's not been in his body he's not been in his body so it's like I don't know where where I am or what interesting it's like he's on autopilot so it's not really there wow that's interesting I guess so when you hear this yeah. recording more and more you'll be able to connect the dots even more sounds good well if you've enjoyed this session you want your own go to my website albawyman.com go to the out of town page and there are links there for your newsletter that's the only way you're going to get a session and that's how you got a session too. do it my higher self tapped me on the shoulder and said look at your email I looked at my email and booked a session yeah it's if you're supposed to be here you're gonna be here so keep trying and uh, hopefully one time I'll get to do a session with you so thank you for watching and uh, we'll, we'll see each other soon okay bye give me that hug mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, crunchy. Crunchy.